In this video, we're going to start looking at the Maclaurin series. We can express a function as an infinite series expansion to find approximations at x equals 0 or in the neighbouring region by using a Maclaurin expansion. We can only do this, though, if the function is infinitely differentiable at x equals 0. Examples of functions aren't uh, the natural log of x, which we'll come on to, 1 over x, cot x, these are prime examples of one that we can't, uh, ones that we can't do. But what we're going to do in this video is start looking at some basic examples and some general results using the Maclaurin expansion. In general, the Maclaurin expansion is given as follows, and this is how we will view it, and this is how it's viewed in FP2. We have the f of x is equal to the f of 0 plus f dashed of 0 multiplied by x plus f double dashed of 0 multiplied by x squared over 2 factorial plus f triple dashed of 0 multiplied by x cubed over 3 factorial dot 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 so on and then we'll have the r derivative so r uh, evaluated at 0 and then we'll have x to the r over r factorial and then of course we'll continue so we can express this as an infinite series the only real requirement we need to um, focus on at the moment is that this is infinitely differentiable at x equals naught. And I think in the next video we'll look at an example where that isn't the case. You don't have to remember this. There are certainly um, a few different flips on this, but essentially this is what we'll be using. So pick it out the formula book or stick it in your brain and we'll start working with it. What we'll do now is take e to the x. And what I'll say is the f of x is equal to e to the x. So f of x is equal to e to the x. In some starting questions when you're looking at this topic, you'll be asked to differentiate e to the x and as a result find the Maclaurin expansion. So we're going to do that and it will yield what we call a general result. And unless you're told to differentiate, use the general result that we're going to find. So f of x equals e to the x f dashed of x of course will be e to the x we know how to differentiate e to the x the second derivative f double dashed of x will 2 be e to the x the third derivative f triple dashed of x will be equal to e to the x and we'll take the fourth derivative and at this point i'm using roman numerals for the fourth so it'll be e to the x not x uh we want e to the x don't know why i wanted to write x we want e to the x now, what we have to do at this point is find the f of 0, so the f of 0. And quite clearly, this, we can differentiate and find the value for the f of 0. So we end up with e to 0, which of course is 1. And you'll see now that f dashed of 0 will be e to the 0, which 2 will be 1. And we'll get the same here. And we'll end up now with e to 0, and that's equal to 1. The third derivative at 0, e of 0 will be equal to 1 and of course the fourth derivative will be the same. Just to give you a bit of a, an insight this is not always going to be the case so for example the expansion of sine x if we do the f of x is sine x and then differentiate f dashed of x is cos x. Now evaluating sine of 0 is 0 evaluating cos of 0 is 1 so this is just using e to the x. So what we can now do is just plug this in. And using the Maclaurin expansion, we can say e to the x is going to be equal to... Now, what we end up with is the following. If we consider we need the f of 0. Well, the f of 0 is going to be 1. Then we need f dash of 0 multiplied by x. f dash of 0 is 1, so we end up with 1 times x, which is going to give me x. Then we have f double dash of 0 multiplied by x squared over 2 factorial. So what we can say is this is going to give me x squared over 2 factorial. Then the next one, we want the f triple dashed of 0, which is 1, multiplied by x cubed over 3 factorial. And we end up like so. And then we want the next one, and that's going to give us now what we're going to have, uh, plus now x to the fourth over 4 factorial. And this gives rise to the series as we go. And in terms of the expansion, you'll see it dot, 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 and then we'll have plus x to the r over r factorial dot 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 so the infinite uh, series expansion can be given in that form and we can quote this as a general result so unless you're told to differentiate just pick up this um, straight off 
So there we go. That's what we do. That's the um, series expansion for e to the x. What I've got now is a little um, applet thing. Um, I didn't design it. Whoever designed it um, has done really well. And I'll put a link to um, their site uh, and you can check out. It's got loads of really good stuff. And we'll look at this case. Now, what we'll see is as the number of uh, terms in the expansion increases, the level of accuracy will as well. And also, the further we deviate away from zero in terms of our McLaurin expansion, we're going to get less of... Um, a, an accurate result. So let's now have a look at this in action. If we just grab this up, what I've got up on the screen now is the following. This is the function e to the x, the blue one is e to the x, and then what we've got here is our approximation, and approximation is a red line. Currently, I've got the first one where e to the x is 1. Quite clearly, that's not really stacking up, okay? If we now take the next term, and again, if we look at what I've done, I've got 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial. If we consider now that what we have here is a linear approximation, okay? It's not even a curve, so it's not great. When we get the quadratic approximation, you can now see that in this interval, it's going to be a pretty good approximation. So often when you're asked in exams to use the first three or four terms, you can see that we're going to get quite a good um, quite a good. Uh, approximation at x is naught. This is the cubic and we can see it looks pretty good in this part right here. And then we take another one, so the quartic, and you can see as we increase the number of terms in the series expansion, we're getting closer and closer to an accurate, uh, an accurate result. So the more we do, the more accurate our answer will be. And the further we deviate away from the, the zero, the less um, less accurate we, we can do. So you may have heard of a Taylor series, and we'll go on to look at the Taylor series. The McLaurin series is basically the Taylor series, but the McLaurin series is centered at x is naught, whilst the Taylor series is centered at x is equal to a. So what can we use this for? Well, let's just have a, a little think. Let's say we were asked to find now, using the first four terms only, find the value of e to the 0 0.1, okay? So all we would do, and this is going to be approximately equal to, because remember, we're only using the first four terms, what we're going to have is 1 plus, and just consider, for x I'm using 0 0.1, so I'm going to get 0 0.1, then I'm going to get plus 0 0.1 squared over 2 factorial, which 2 factorial is just 2. Remember, 2 factorial is just 2 times 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So we're going to get plus 0 0.1 cubed over 3 times 2 times 1, which gives us 6. So let's now find a value for that. Let's put that into a calculator. So what we've got, I always put my value in, 0 0.1. Now what we're going to do is just total this up. So let's put that there. So what I can uh, push in the calculator now is 1 plus my answer plus my answer, let's get this in there, answer squared divided by 2 okay and then we can do plus my answer cubed let's put the answer cubed not squared we want cubed don't we answer cubed over uh, 6 and this will now give me an approximation and that gives us what does that give us 1 point okay 10 oh, let's write this down 1.105 and then what's it 615 6 uh, one six. So what have we got? One six 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 seven. Okay, let's look at that then. That's the approximation using the the Taylor expansion. You might hear se Taylor series, Taylor ex uh, sorry, the McLaurin uh, series or expansion. You might hear those words interchange. Essentially, they're the same thing. Well, for all intents and purposes. Now let's look at if we actually did now uh, e to one. If you want to, you can store this value in your calculator, just for future reference. If you want to do it, if you hit Shift, Store, and you can put it in any of these, A, B, C, D, E, or F, if you want to put it in as F, it's stored in as F. So, for example, if you wanted to recall it, recall it, F, there it is. Okay, so let's actually now look at um, what it, it would be. So if we now get, let's get now E to the 0 0.1, what's that give me? Okay, so if we just compare the two, what we can see then is um, that's pretty accurate, isn't it? If we look at that uh, 
closely so we can see that our expansion is pretty good and of course if we added more and more terms we would get more and more accurate so hopefully that's given you a bit of a rough idea what we'll do in some of the later videos is look at how we can combine these and work with them but essentially what we're saying is these uh, functions can be expressed as infinite series as long as they're infinitely differentiable at x is equal to naught in this case in the next video we'll have a look at one that isn't and how we can get around that